Entry level. Entry level job is no. It can't be entry level once you. If you need three to five years, exactly. It's moronic. Graduates and school and school leavers. Well, this guy also like doesn't know how to write. Graduates and that's what he wrote. That's what he wrote. Dropouts. Graduates and school leavers. School leavers. (laughs) I don't know what that. I guess dropouts. Welcome to another episode. Of the unpopular podcast. Of the co- podcast unpopular. Yes. We're joined today with Johan. No, you're not allowed. Yeah. I told oh, you. Yeah, we're here with Johan. So Bro, he shouldn't worry about it. Who? <laughs> yeah, like, That's what you said. That's what you said. You're like, oh, I'm going to get you canceled. No, I'm going to get you guys canceled. Do you, more, do you more tell me the same thing? I'm not afraid to get myself canceled. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid that y'all are gonna blame me when y'all get canceled. <laughs> you are telling me the same thing. He's like, I'm gonna get y'all canceled. Like, there's nothing y'all can say that we haven't already said. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, and Adrian will blur it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll blur it out. Yo, I know. Yo, but I, but they when were he gets into a game again. He goes yeah, off. Yeah, I know. When he I, gets into something. He goes off. Have and then, then it, no, no, I've seen him on anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've seen him with anime. Sometimes, yeah, he, he's watching he, like watching seven different. I don't animes. know how you have the patience. Listen, when you have manic depression and there's <laughs> what, nothing to do, and you finally get something to do, it becomes obsessive. Yeah, yeah sure. I, got I know you. exactly what you mean, though, because like that's why I was like always afraid to get back into games like Siege and shit. Because I'm nah. like, nah, I'm not to that. But like after the fourth rage, I'd be like, no, that's it, I'm done. Of course, that's like a bad fucking analogy. But like certain games, I I like. I, I don't want to get back into because I know myself and I know I spend like a week trying to get to be the, the best at like Valorant. Like I don't want to play Valorant anymore because I know I will try to be good and then just like get yourself and eventually realize like there's no point because it's like skill curve is just high and then there's just a bunch of other people at this end. So when I reach that skill curve, I'm just going to get put You're into get a lobby into with a bunch gap. of other, other, yeah, and then it's like why am I fighting like I'm going to be an esports player? <laughs> you're, you're I, I don't get Getting into like, random games, fighting Shroud. But and it's like, like <laughs> Mom, man. Why won't like, you surrender? Like, that's why I like one of those games, games and you shit. can actually like vote to surrender. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I hate too. Like there's games where you can vote to surrender. People are like, no, we'll, we'll try it. Like, yo, we're, we're 11 and 2. <laughs> yo, like, yo, that's valid. We, we made, we we made comebacks. Come but we have made comebacks. We have, but it's like... And those are the best you see, it's exactly. But, but it's so funny. Like, it's it's like, you've like, known that some of those comebacks are not always satisfying. Yeah, because of how long the fight. Sometimes you don't actually win the comebacks either. You just really, draw. You, you, you literally end up like, oh, it's 11 and 2. And then you go a whole other like hour catching up to them. And now it's, it's 10, and 13, 11. and they win. <laughs> and it's like, like, you got 10 rounds to lose anyway. <laughs> like, why? Because it had to be done. That's why I was like, I don't, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I'm, I get too competitive with certain games, so I just don't. But you, you remember those days back in the Xbox? Yeah. Like we, on we Overwatch? Like Overwatch? Yeah, it was too, too much. much. I remember the screaming you guys did. <laughs> Yo, but there was like, it wasn't unwarranted, bro. Like, there was so much. Like, you guys were screaming at from, each other. From, oh, Yo, but sometimes we don't fuck up on Yeah. Shit, you know? <laughs> Yo, but I will, like, I will die on my hill. I defend all of my Reinhardt charges regardless. <laughs> because if I miss them, that's all it was. I, I swear to God, I'm, I'm only tank for the longest time because I can't play any other role. Yeah. Like, if I'm DPS, the tanks are always like, yo, you're not taking out these flying guys or the healers aren't healing me because they're focusing on tanks. So, so I, can only, I can only play tank because I'm like, Reinhardt shield beat the shit out of people. That's all I can do. I don't know how the you, team play it. Out. I don't know how you guys fucking do it with Reinhardt. It's easy. I can't. Bro, Reinhardt is my favorite character. It's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when. Because my shit when I press when I play it's Reinhardt. All the timing of dropping. When I play shield. Reinhardt, my shield instantly gone. Like I don't know Sometimes how you guys fucking do it. Sometimes it's just those matches where the DPS is out DPSing you, and then they can't like. Yeah. Every time I'm Reinhardt, it happens. Anything. Every time I'm Reinhardt, it happens. The only I hate when there's a Pharah and the DPS can't take out the Pharah. Oh, yeah. It's like that's like the only thing that fucks you. Cause yeah, because sometimes they constantly wave bouncing me. <laughs> yeah, toss you into that. Dog and part. even if it's not a concussion wave, <laughs> but like explosive ones, yeah. still, it's still still like one twenty five. Still push you it's forward. Still one twenty five. And still make your jump. It's annoying. You get five as your Reinhardt. Yo, guys, get him. Bing. Yo, get him. Bing. Yo, get him. I'm, you're fucking at 75. But on like, top of that, you you're also getting shot at from other people in front. Your shield's fucking, probably about to go yeah, down. Then so it goes like, down and you get shot and bent at the same time. <laughs> that's like, why 
I don't know what's gonna happen with the because I saw you playing when we went to Andy's house. That fucking the five stack is disgusting. I didn't even want to play it. But, I didn't want to touch it. But right, and he was defending it so hard. But it's it's just bro, the maps are too big for what the the game is. That's fine. Oh, the game is too is too big. Like the maps are too big for what the game is. What they made on Overwatch two? Yeah, the beta came out for the for PC. Well, it's out for Xbox too, I think. But you gotta buy it. And I was playing it with this. It was a closed beta last time. You had to get like stream keys or some shit. Yeah. I don't know if they're still doing that. I don't know about that. But we, we were playing it at his house, bro. I just I couldn't, bro. The the movement was all wonky. The fucking tanks, like you can't go in there as a tank because it's only you, and you get out DPS like that, like yeah. that. You have to be close to somebody in that game. And yeah, I don't know about Watch Two. Yeah, me neither. I feel like it's the same, just like with a bunch of dumbass changes that we didn't ask for. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I think. Some changes we did, like with character, like Ryan Hart. I like the whole like, uh, like We're fucking. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Like, and just update it. Like you, when you did the shit to Hanzo, you didn't have to make a new game. Like you didn't do anything to Hanzo. Like, with the no, when they switched the ability. Oh, when they switched oh. the the. Sh- the, the scatter, like, scatter. Switching ability they switch doesn't call for a new game. They switch a, it Remember the scatter? Yeah, the scatter. And then it changed to the rapid fire, the rapid fire shit. Yeah, they changed that shit because people used to be able to. And they gotta bring that back. Now you can just straight up spam face, like if you have good enough aim. So it doesn't make sense. But people, they were the complaint was that certain people could scatter shot and get the whole scatter shot to one shot a tank. Which is like, if you do that on a tank, bro, That's like good on you. Yeah, because like, the aim was. Was perfect. It was gotten. And you had to get like a couple headshots with that to take out some tanks. Like, yeah. Fucking... Roadhogs would always tank your shit because they just eat fucking. That should never make sense in the middle. Of it. Just like you nerf the damage character after. Like, for long hearts, by the time you get like two, three arrows in, they put up the shield. So yeah. like. That's the thing is like that that game is not looking good. The healers, according to Andy, the healers can do a lot more in terms of damage. But it's like, I feel like the game is becoming... But why do the healers need to do exactly. damage? They should have just made more healing. Ability. Exactly. I think the game is going to become slowly like just Call of Duty. and I Because everybody that was working on it before had left. Mm-hmm. So everyone in now yeah. is just new. And whatever Blizzard and Activision want is what goes. So Yeah. yeah. I mean Activision, not Blizzard. Well, yeah. Activision is the ones who have the say in everything. Yeah. Usually. And the game is becoming... And they have a battle pass, too. They do? Oh, gonna, yeah. Why? She, I don't know. I just go too far. I know. I mean, it's the vibe long far, enough without bro. winning just the loot box shit. So why do Yo, you need a loot box and a battle pass? But yeah. that's what I mean, though, because now there's gonna be shit that's exclusive to the fucking battle pass that you can't get out of the loot box, and it's like, bro, bro, just yeah, give me my loot box and that's it. Go back. Yeah. Reverse, reverse. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, we'll reverse card, that's like, and I get like now, and and someone's gonna fucking probably comment and be like, ha, gotcha. I know exactly who the fuck it's going to be, but fuck you. Andy? But, <laughs> nah, basically, this is why Fortnite should have never been endorsed as heavily as it did. Yeah. Uh, it ruined just, like, the whole gaming industry. Well, and it's not it's not that. It's just, like, I mean, it the brought a lot more money. It brought not, a lot more like, money for companies. That's what it but is. Like, but now, it, because they saw those profit margins, it's like, well, we have to use the same practice. Yeah. Uh, so we don't get outsold. Well, that's what happened with Microsoft and Sony, right? Microsoft was always charging for online. Yeah. PlayStation but that's like the never problem. Did. Why are they treating it like it's a competition? Now, like, why not just make good games? Yeah, and now, oh, like, recently happen what happened anymore. with, like, the... I think it was a year or two ago with, like, the PlayStation Xbox All Exclusives and how, like, uh, Xbox then bought out, like, Bethesda. And, like, they have Bethesda, shit. they have Mojang, then, they have all this shit. I think PlayStation was like, ah, fuck you, we got Bungie or whatever the fuck. And then, it was yeah, just, it's like, like a little war of buying but, And then now, recently, I don't, you're not familiar with it because you don't play PC, and it's not, like, a slight, but we fucking were trying to play Fall Guys. He had to... You have to reinstall for, it. Yeah, yeah, but, like... Well, I didn't have to reinstall it. I still have it through Steam, but like apparently people can't even buy it through Steam anymore. Yeah, yeah you it's can't not, only it's not throw up your game. Yeah. Steam and anymore. I was trying to buy it. Steam, you can still play it. It's in your library, but it's like unavailable. Like you go to the store for it, it's like unavailable on here anymore. <laughs> but I was fucking publisher. looking for it for like 20 minutes before we found that out. I was like, yo, now I gotta fucking reinstall Epic Games again because now Epic Games is under it. So it's like, yo. Oh, and now when I, now when I run it, Epic Games uh, like the background thing. It has to run. go up in the. Oh, yeah. So in my in my task manager, but, I see but, it running. But, right but how exclusive is it if it's still on PlayStation, Nintendo? It's that, that, but that's not what I mean about it. It's exclusivity. I'm just like, why? Why does all this need to happen? Like, why no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, what these com- What are these companies thinking? Where they're like. Oh, we're exclusive, but I'm gonna sell it to you too. Like that's not exclusive. <laughs> that's just 
That's stupid. That's not it's just because it's just you're selling to whoever you can to make money. Yeah, like it's, it's just if idiotic. anything, it's inclusive. Like at this yeah. point, just it accept certain except obvious Steam. titles. Like no, just Steam. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like at this point too, it's like I know a lot of people are mad apparently because then uh, Spider Man is releasing on PC later on this year mm-hmm. Which or one? next year. Like the, 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 the actual Spider Man, yeah, games? the one that came out uh, like in 2018, 2019 or whatever. And other people, like some guy, like some guy, four years later, <laughs> yeah. But some guy made it, went out of his way to, I think he got a saw and he saw his, uh, his Spider Man themed PS5, uh, because he was just like, oh, PlayStation doesn't care about their customers. And it's just like, how do you just sell out to someone after a couple of years? And then this is me taking my stand. And you saw it. I was like, I, don't know. I just saw a video of you losing five hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. Seven hundred. Because yeah. this is special one. Like, it was fucking. I was just. It still. It doesn't like remove the exclusivity of those PS fives. Yeah, because like, they only made a certain amount of those. Yeah, I think. And it's like, and it's even that. Like, you, you, you just gotta find pictures. Yeah, like, what? Painting yourself. I think not to sound nihilistic, but like, all this shit. All that materials, like it's, we gotta stop caring about it at some point, bro. Like, yeah, but like, you gotta, when you were fucking, like, but like when, when Black Ops 3 came out, and, and hold on, but like when, when Black Ops 3 came out, and I was like, hey, yo, I got fucking steel hard copy cover, I was like, yo, fuck all you guys, you have a trash copy of Black Ops <laughs> because I have the steel copy. So let's, let's not lie to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we, we enjoyed this shit, but. But like, but yeah, like at some point, no, you yeah, some down it's to that level. Yeah, because it's, I don't it's know. just like he has the steel copy of Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know why. Don't know yeah, but I have the steel every... copy of Modern Warfare 2. That was the best <laughs> game of all time. <laughs> fuck it, no, Modern Warfare 2 for sure. I I understand when it comes to the collect. Like for me, comic books and like stuff. collector's items. Yeah, when I get it. Making certain earnable aspects of the game. But like, but like, my whole thing is like, there's a difference between like for that guy. Why why do it for a PS5 of Spider Man? It's not like. Sony always owned Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. You have to, <laughs> like, you have, like, to, like, have it in your mind that someday like a, that like deal was gonna go. Yeah, but like, like I understand, all like expire I understand, like a character like like God of War, like that's a PlayStation yeah. created, like a co exclusive. Spider Man, they're paying for the fucking license thing, license yeah. thing from Marvel, so it's and, still like. And all they have to do is just one day decide, hey, I'm not gonna sell it to you again. Yeah, like there's exactly there's definitely something. But one day the contract's gonna end. Yeah, so it's or like, well, either either way, all those contracts also get put in mind that if you pull out early, like there's a oh you have to pay us this much amount if oh, you yeah, don't want to like so, uh, like, But it's like the same bullshit. Like out. like I guarantee you, people were mad back in the 360 days when Call of Duty and Activision took off their deal from uh, Xbox and swapped to PlayStation. Because remember Xbox's shit? They used to get all the Black Ops stuff early. That's true. Yeah. All the card, all right. the Call of Duty. And, and they switched over to Xbox. When was it? When was it? Black Ops 3? Yeah. 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 yeah they and then they were like, like, oh, get it a year later. Or, well, we're not. Yeah, a couple months. A month, month early. Yeah. Yeah. I don't fucking OD a whole year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah. No, it wasn't yeah. just, no, I think it was just a week. It was like a week or something. Because I remember. I got the beta a month early or something. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember we would play and we would... And they, they would get DLCs, like, early, too. Like, a week or something That's early. terrible. Yeah, we would wait for the maps because we were completing them all the time. And me and Victor would be like, yo, what the... F- Why are they not on Xbox But, like, yet? we didn't realize before that PlayStation was the opposite. Back mm, then, when yeah. we were on the 360 on Xbox, yeah, on Black Ops 1s and all that. Like, we used to get... Yeah, yeah but then, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, like, when I really get down to it, like, the only Xbox character I can think of Master is Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I feel hasn't Master and even then, been, like sold on to other shit still. Like yeah. wasn't Halo Five for everywhere? Yeah. So and, like, and even Halo then, everywhere Halo Five was on like PlayStation. <laughs> I thought it was, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, is it something? I think it was on PC. PC. Yeah. yeah. Right. Was, Which is the same that thing that we're right, talking so about. Halo is still exclusive. Master but like, Chief and but like, I, <laughs> the Xbox going on to PC makes sense though, because Microsoft literally like owns all the windows yeah. <laughs> it's like Makes pc sense. is also xbox yeah, like it's microsoft like, yeah it's just like their subsidiary like fucking gaming console but not really but you know what I mean. but like that's also why i realized xbox for the longer or microsoft for the longest time hasn't really gave a fuck about video games because they have the pc uh, in, like shit too in the background that no one really realized that's why they yo remember the indie store and sony at the same fucking time too, also Apple has like oh, oh sony has the minors, like the bro. tv shit they're, like they make tvs and all these other yeah, and they, and stuff and, like yo but that's why, like, and when then the, the PS5 industry. came out with a remote, like, it had, like, they had a remote, so if you will, like, put in Blu-ray things, but I was like, oh. yo, 
There's like 56 buttons on that shit. Like, yeah. Like none of them. Button. None of them do anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 All of that could be done here. Like. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. And there's there's only eight on the controller. Remember when they put like, <laughs> the Wii remote and they just put like a ball at the end? Oh yeah. Yo, but that was there was a the, purpose for that, right? The, the, yeah, the motion control. With oh. the, but it was also came it came paired with like the copy of the Kinect too, which is just another little bar. Yeah, another bar. Like, I yeah. hated the Kinect. I loved like, it. Like <laughs> I, I did I hated it because of the bullying I received for it. Or or for I had a Kinect for a year before I had a real mic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, so I was like, Fuck <laughs> like, I was just like, yo, see this? I don't talk at all. <laughs> like, and people used to be like, yo. Oh, don't talk at all. <laughs> like, yo, fuck you. I'm not fuck you. <laughs> you know, but, but you know what's the worst? When you join a party and they're like, yo, who invited this? <laughs> you know? It's like, you know who they're talking about. That sucks. That sucks to be that guy, bro. We had a lot of those guys back in the what's day. The, what's the shape of Italy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with a soccer ball? <laughs> I used to I used to be quiet I didn't want to respond I just go respond did you guys ever do the the whose mic is that going thing oh and you you all go silent yeah you're like wait 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 who is that <laughs> Xavier speak right now <laughs> yo fucking Salem witch trial you get mad you get very accusatory you get very accusatory in that second because it's like bro we gotta figure this out and figure this out now <laughs> bro we're not gonna play the rest of the night like with me right your video game twice yeah like, I'm not gonna do that that shit was the worst bro I hated it hearing us twice we heard your game too like, yeah bro, like nah speaking of I've been lower the TV you gotta play like Salem witch trial yeah, which <laughs> that'd, be, PC, that'd be dope but like a bunch of us or like Mafia or whatever which is like essentially the same shit but like with the roles of a Mafia role that'd be whatever. That should be, be that should be fun fucking especially with like all of us and Adrian cause and, we have fun fucking around we have some other like, emotional magic. people like, fuck you <laughs> but, like, but, like, but, like it's kind of like when we play magic and we're like Yo, attack this guy. Oh, yeah. But it's like, are we really at, like? Am I trying to fuck with him? The other day, really yeah, like, the like, like, little, it's good. like I'm <laughs> fucking with people. Like, you were all playing this stupid little game, but now imagine if we're playing a game that's based on actually doing that. Is that the one? Is that the one that's on like just a website? Uh, yeah. there is one. Like is that, but yeah. There's also like card versions where you could like play mafia, where it's like, I one person like a mafia probably. player. I used to play that sleeping. one, and there's like there's like a wolf, there's a, a sheriff. There's a witch. I forget. They're, and then the rest like are like civilians. Around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit is fun as hell. This Bro, you get... You plan shit. And I love I love just accusing random people so they can die. <laughs> like a, and I'm just a regular civilian. Like, you gotta play like Among Us with like everyone that's been on the podcast. Like, uh, and just like, like make a yeah. chat, just send a code. But like, those, that was the true enjoy. Among Us. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what it that was. That was before Among Us. Yeah, <laughs> finding the echo. That was the true imposter. Yo, but you gotta think. Like, back then in, back then in like medieval times. the Among Us. Swim? <laughs> you know, like, you know, like I, why was that such a fucking like an evil fucking thought back then, bro? Like that you, that you could swim. swim. Like, yeah. yo, y'all are bats. <laughs> but, but, but like, uh, but, like wouldn't they like drown them? And if they like, yeah, if they yeah. had sunk or something, they were awake. They would put yeah. they would tie them to a rock, like a heavy. And boulder. you sink your witch. Like, you tie them to a rock or something. Fucking drown them, and if they sink and don't come back up, they're a witch. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's if they were to escape. They were um they were a witch. That's oh. what it was. That's why they would tie them. They're like, we're gonna make sure that you're not a witch. And then but after like, they if were you're not a witch, you still die. Exactly. And then they're like, you know what I would have yeah, done. Yeah. I would have just fucking before I fell in and then <laughs> with and a then, rock tied to you. <laughs> well, they put on a rock before. Yeah, yeah. they tie yeah, it to you so they keep it the same. You, if they, <laughs> they just know. They just that wait you're... till you die. <laughs> Essentially, and if you die, you're not a witch. Like what? What? <laughs> so you're just killing me, like? Bro, that's what, it's like trial it's by just, death. Bro. It's illegal murder. <laughs> that's what that shit was. No, it was because yo, I felt bad for women because if oh, they yeah. could read, it was a problem. Like you're a witch immediately. <laughs> You know what two plus two is? Yeah. Like, you get to die. Or like the woman, like women that like oh, they're, they're, they're like <laughs> learning, they're learning about like the plants and shit. And they're like, yo, yeah. these mushrooms. We could use them to help people and heal them. With, yeah. It's like medicine. You cook mushrooms, they're like, bitch. What are you doing? This is witchcraft. <laughs> fucking burn her on the stake. Bro, but it was supposed to be like a family event thing. Like, kids would go, everybody would watch, like, the burning. Like, and, and throw rocks at the bitch while she's burning. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That, yo, that was the pinata. <laughs> 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 I burned. 
<laughs> but that, that was, was like, medieval. That was like yeah. before there was concerts and shit. <laughs> you go to a girl like, you want to go to the to the witch? You want to go to the room? burning today? Like, <laughs> fuck like the rain. It's the burning. Let's go to the burning. Crazy. That's terrible. Adrian's here. No, no. I was checking. But yeah, um, but apparently the Salem witch trials only lasted like three weeks. And you know and why they end. ended? Because the three girls that started it accused the wife of the priest, and he's like, you know what? Maybe they were. Yeah, witches. maybe <laughs> maybe they were wrong. Yeah. But like the Salem witch trials are like the ones that got famous. How you know there were any more witch trials across the whole country? Well, just the <laughs> ones in Salem. Like they kept going well, on. we don't know about that yet for sure. But I know <laughs> the Salem witch trials. <laughs> all the history books like those three girls that had started that shit they didn't really know what they were fucking doing they just wanted attention these assholes and yeah and then one yeah. by one they started but like, like, but like if witch trials happen now so many white girls would die bro that's what cancel culture <laughs> is the cancel culture Yo, is all, witch these, all these little girls that are like fucking reading astrology and tarot cards like that's all the witch hunt <laughs> <laughs> every time every time he could he we could do anything I'm quiet, you know. I don't, I don't really. He just sees me as a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't say anything. And then he comes and like, "What's up, bitch?" Oh yeah, like, immediately. Like that I'm time like... we were playing magic. <laughs> yeah, like uh, he started the the whole argument. Yo, but that's the thing. Like you see it as an like, argument. I just like. It's filler words for me because it's like I, I call everyone bitch or like fat, <laughs> like. Like you don't That's have to be fat. Like started. Adrian could walk in the room. I'm like, what's up, you fat bitch? And it's like, it's a term of endearment. It's kind of <laughs> like how. <laughs> 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 it's okay. it's kind of like when Australians like call people cunts. Mate, uh, oh. it, it, like it's you didn't, you didn't, It's not a fucking bad word when you call someone. I didn't know. Cunt, like, I didn't know. Cunt, like, I didn't like, know it's an like, Australian like thing. It's a term of endearment. Like I'm not, I'm not calling you fat because I think you're fat and I'm trying to call you. <laughs> Or I'm trying to start an argument. You, I just say, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's... Remember the pH? That, that oh, died yeah. out. Like, that, thank God, because that shit was whack. But it still existed. I wasn't insulting no one, but still... <laughs> I would argue someone at one point went, I'm a fan! <laughs> well, you, yeah. you grew up, like, early 2000s kind of high school. I barely Did you ever... the 90s. Late 90s. But, but 90s. I'm saying, like, the 2000s, that's when they started saying that shit, right? Fat? No, I thought that was a nice thing. Nah. Huh? Was it? Nah, because I remember there was, like, a... A brand too called fat. That shit died too, thank God. They Why took... take advice from us? We're the unpopular podcast. Just a bunch of unpopular retards. <laughs> but you're right. Why can't we say no, that? No, he's right. <laughs> but it'd be like I'm taking... on the spectrum, most likely. Like, why can't I say that? Are you on the spectrum? I don't know. Probably. Didn't you say you had but Everyone's a... probably on the spectrum somehow. I told, way, I told my parents like, some level. I mean, it is a spectrum, so if they're leaning that way, we are leaning the other way. <laughs> like, I think... I think um, us especially have some. I also just don't see how issues. like. I also don't see why people like take it like we're insulting. Like I like retarded people. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, He's not like, using it in like a derogatory like, term. I, no, but he just said. <laughs> branch off real quick. Yeah, uh, I like. I'm sorry. I don't like opening these off camera anymore. Like I think opening them on camera gives a purpose. Posty. Do you recognize this? Did you ever watch any of them? I don't know who he is. No, but from like what album? Did you ever no. see the music videos? No. This is from Circles. Is that from White Iverson? Is that where White Iverson was from? No. That was... Is this, that, I, think, I, think, I think White yeah. Iverson was Beer Bongs and Bentley's. Or it might have been... The, yeah. I think it might have been TV. Austin Years Truly, though. But... I have no idea. I don't really listen to Post Malone. I also got it because it... This was like when I was playing Elden Ring. And I never got the second Funko Pop until like... Two weeks ago, it was like. That's a, all right. Can, I, like, like, can a Funko Pop? Look moving on. on. That's <laughs> how. <laughs> you do have a pedophile yeah. stash. I, I, I don't can't. though because it's having a goatee. Pedophile stash is without anything on the beard. Your goatee needs to grow a little bit more for yeah, it to be well, like. Yeah, fuck my dick. <laughs> I'm, just letting, I'm just letting you know. I'm, I'm saying like, that as a pedophile. Pedophil- yeah. yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> suck my dick. Respectfully, <laughs> suck my dick. Respectfully, you still look like a pedophile. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go through one of the unpopular topics that when we, when we start doing. We gotta make. A, I eat the host. We gotta right make there. ourselves a small like mini two, and be like, I don't know. Very unpopular. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, a, a, a jingle, if you will. Uh, that was perfect. Though. One, two, or three. Two. 
Alright. Because I'm never first, I'm always last. The first one is stupid. To well, me. last would have been third, then. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this topic, it's... I'm, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll show you a picture of it. I'll send it to Adrian. Um, but basically, this topic is uh, talking about how people record homeless people and shit. So I'm just going to read the post and then we can get into it. Um, the title is Fuck You If You Record Yourself Giving Things to Homeless People. Yeah. Um, so Read that guy's comment. Uh, you see it all over the internet these days. People recording themselves giving food or money or whatever to homeless people. All it is for these people is a personal boost. A way to get views on the internet and to make themselves feel important. I think these actions, and these are not my words, I think these actions should be shot down, not praised, and receive 10 million video views. If you're really this good a person you claim to be, you would give them, give to the homeless, give to shelters, help people, and not tell anyone else about it. It's that simple. And then yeah. he also said, I don't think, like, just to clarify, I don't think people should stop giving to the homeless altogether. You should just stop recording it because in his eyes, it's just another thing that proves how shitty people are trying to get gratification yeah. instead of caring about their fellow human being, but because it's for your image. Well, maybe that homeless guy should stop being homeless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> but an actual gunshot. I think it's just them trying to show their <laughs> No, <homeless>. for real. <laughs> in the video... <laughs> and then, and then a gunshot. I'm like, I put a blood clot. Like, you know, like, but I'm making make it mad. Like, have it spurred up like two feet. <laughs> go like the opposite direction because you obviously got, uh, you obviously got shot. Totally. You obviously got shot like from in front, so have the blood spurt that way. <laughs> like, oh, fucking gunshot. Fuck yeah. But, but how do you guys feel about that? Because... I feel like it's just them trying to show off their altruism. So yeah, it uh, definitely is. You know. I don't fuck with that. There That's was why, a, like I fuck with YouTubers, like uh, like the big ones that like they don't even show up that they that they like donate like people like PewDiePie or whatever they be donating donating on the low. Obviously they have streams or they donate and that's like them having the streams to have like the group shit. But like certain people just donate on the low without saying anything and it's like that's the way you should do yeah. it. Yeah, like, like the only thing. Why, that I... why do you have to like show off your altruism to the world that you can yeah. that you're lending a hand? Like who cares? Well, for for YouTube people, it's obvious like why they do it. But it's easy revenue. Yeah, it's and just... people try to mask it behind like, oh, I'm trying to show people that they should do good in the world. It's like, so let me go a step further. How do you feel about the the ones that do this to homeless people? But it's a, it's an actor. The homeless guy's an actor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then, but then, like, the the there's a specific shittier. example I wish I could bring up, but I don't want to like start shit with anybody. But they, he had, like, his little brother play, like, a homeless kid. And every time someone would, like, not give him money, he'd, like, oh, how'd that make you feel? It made me feel sad. Nobody cares in this world. Like, it, it just yeah, felt like a script or some thing, shit. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, he's probably just sounding upset because he doesn't want to do this either. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why should your little brother to pretend to be homeless? Like, for views. So you see your friends pass by, and it's like... See you, school dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one ever thinks about the context, huh? Yeah, yeah if, like, it's, if it can be that scripted, that that fake. Like, it's one thing. I would argue the the whole the YouTubers doing it. It's it's right because it's only always almost people. It's the easy like yeah. what's the easiest thing to get. The, okay, if you're gonna be a nice person, why not charity to people with cancer, kids who don't have fucking legs? Yeah. I don't know something. Something else other than just homeless, because it is specifically always just not why is it TV? Everywhere yeah. it's an abundant it's like Do you guys think homeless is like a huge problem in America? Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you guys seen all those certain, posts? I think in certain states like California it's definitely a fucking yeah. problem. Have you guys seen all those posts um like on because there's a shit ton of memes about it, but like anti homeless uh oh, yeah. architecture? Oh yeah, the little yeah. white things like on the ground. Yeah, like, little they points. have uh, oh. they they do they build the spikes that you talking about. They do those under underpasses, so they Hell can't yeah. like camp underneath them. Fuck the, yeah, the, the feet, how they split in that weird. I agree. Point, they lean it's inward, just fucking like, ass, bro. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It started off with the anti skater shit, and then they went to homeless. But it was just like yeah, that's. But what. there's so much like shit that that money could be better yeah. used on instead of so much anti homeless. You know how much like, money they? Sp I think they spent like a billion or some shit on tents. That like didn't get used. I bet their like bullshit was like, in, oh, we don't have to clean that area anymore. In LA, they spent like a billion on tents or well, some shit. Like a in billion LA dollars too, on tents. In LA too, it's kind of like a safe haven uh, state where it's like, bro, you go to jail and they let you out the next day. But it's also like, yo, if you want to be homeless, 
the best place to be homeless is LA. Yeah, LA yeah. <laughs> it's the best weather. They don't weather. bother you. It, best it's, weather. Like, it's, it's perfect. Best weather. <laughs> no, but it's literally like, yeah, if you want to be homeless, go to the place where it rains like three times a year. <laughs> and like, <laughs> it's always sunny and also no humidity, so you're never sweating. Like, well, I don't know about that. But like, most likely not to. Especially if you're homeless because you can't shower for shit. But yeah. yeah. Jump in the beach. Fuck being nice to homeless people for views. Be nice to homeless people because you care. And a lot because of people choose to be homeless friendly. over there, yeah. too. Like, or, yeah, because like, they know it's a better life than with the working hard. One or three. 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 You want to you wanna read it? Sure. Don't mess up. What's up? This is like school. We're going to see if uh, Rivera yeah, is like one of those you read too slow. <laughs> I hated those people. Popcorn reading. That's my unpopular opinion. I fucking hate Why I would you do it? You what know these kids can't read. What is that? The thing where, like, you read the paragraph and then somebody else reads the Picked next up one. Because, because, because then if you, if you set it to individual reading... Yo, but, like, it, like my thing is, like, I understand that. If you do that shit in, like, the fourth grade, they're doing it to people who never learned to read anyway, and they're in high school now. So that's yeah. why it's annoying. Because then me, it's like you're reading high school shit where they, they gotta read, read words like comprehensive and they can't pronounce it. Com- <laughs> like, comprehensive and retard. Can like, <laughs> you comprehend? Yo, they, they, would, they would say shit like they, they almost pre- have it right, but they get it wrong. Comprehensive? Like, I hate that, bro. Like, I, I don't you know, know, bro. I love the guy. Yo, I was always this guy. I love the guy that was like when they're stuck on a word. Like, and I cut, cut, and comprehensive. Comprehensive. Yo. <laughs> like, but there was I was I was annoying as fuck. Like people used to hate me because I was that kid. Like because I just didn't want to be there for mad long. And like as soon as I, I there was just certain words. Like I I would always be like four or five. It also just fucks up my reading. <laughs> <laughs> reading out loud, and I'm ahead of them. Yo, but like, like when that faster. whenever that person is reading, I I'm I'm two pa- cha- pa- uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm two paragraphs fucking ahead already. Literally, it's, it's like I don't I don't need to fucking. Do you not pronounce these words? <laughs> like, even when they're not reading, when the teacher is choosing someone to read, I'm already too paranoid. I know ahead. everyone's like, I'm like, yo, why do we have to stop to do this shit? In like, first grade, I had like, t- like t- had everyone take like a phonics test or some shit, and like they were like, oh, you can read at this grade level, whatever grade level. And supposedly I read on like an eighth grade level in the first grade. It, it shouldn't be that hard. Like I don't know what it is. Like. It for really me, isn't though. For me, I guess it was because I watched like movies with subtitles all the time. Maybe I started watching anime was. at like maybe in like fourth grade, I think, watching Toonami. So I think that's probably when started. <laughs> but it's just like me. even then, it's just like because sounding shit out. Or... I took one of those tests you talked about in seventh grade, and they said I had a, a a senior year of college reading level in seventh grade. I was like, oh god, <laughs> like <laughs> what kind, what type of English classes are they gonna try to give me? I don't want to go. To, I don't want to go AP. Or and look where we are now. <laughs> We're ruling the world. I'm a fucking pothead that stays home. Yeah. <laughs> Look at I think all that now. all that shit is is um is bullshit. Cause I I, yeah. I had the same test to be honest with you in third grade, and I, I thought I was the shit. They even yeah. sent me to like a special class to like, but then I was like, no, nah, this is all bullshit. Like they just yeah. want me to do more work. They just that's want to do is. this. Fuck well, that's you. why I, that's why I gave up on school pretty early. Yeah. Like. You, you know, you know how we do algebra in like fucking freshman year, sophomore year. Eighth Don't grade. even talk to me about. Algebra. I started algebra in sixth grade. Sixth grade, my teacher took me out of class, like gave me seconds uh, extra <laughs> classes during my lunch and some in like a half an hour after school. Math like, that one, like, he made my mom sign me up to because she was like, "Oh, you're really good at math. You could take pre-algebra." So I was doing pre-algebra in sixth grade That's by so myself cool. in a classroom of like two other nerds. And I was annoyed, and I was like, "That's when this is. That's when I stopped giving a fuck about school, and I started." Why am I, I here? Like, I so when I do good, you give me more work. Okay, <laughs> like I don't want to do extra math work. All right, all right, take it away from here. All right, the unpopular opinion today is it should be illegal for a company to list an entry level job as requiring three to five years experience. The very definition of an entry level job is no experience needed. Quite what do you correct. Mean? Literally facts. Like, I can't get a job. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot who called it. I forgot. Was it you? No, it was Moist Bologna. I should have me done. No, I think that's. I think that's just stupid. That like, is stupid because it's like, bro, entry level job. I'm assuming they you have. Know, training. You know what I started to realize though is that's if the problem is is that companies don't really want to hire like young kids anymore. Yeah. Like 
jobs. Food? Those these I jobs think, are supposed to be. For I like, think it's just the, the meaning. But like fast left. fast food jobs and shit like that, like minimum wage jobs are supposed to be for the high schoolers who are getting these jobs for a few years, and then they're gonna go on to college, and the next group of high schoolers will take that job. It's supposed to cycle. But you got like forty year olds, yeah, and, and that that start like working, and then the company start realizing maybe I can hire more of these people who are willing to be like mules for the company. You know the position I work at my at my job, and you do too. Um, mm-hmm. Or what it originally used to be when I first got hired, I was just an assistant uh, facility manager, and all I did was supervise that guy that was under me, and then just watch the door all fucking day. When I got moved to something else, they were gonna do another job application to replace that guy. And for that position, it was like three years experience needed. And I was like, I have no experience. I came from McDonald's, a startup, and Target, which have nothing to do with this fucking corporate office job. But for some less than, like, and I don't mean to demean roles, because all roles are important. But it's just like, when you have some guy that's literally his only thing is maintenance, in a building where we have the building do maintenance, um, it makes no fucking sense because then all he does is deliver supplies and like tissues to other people when we have it centralized in a thing. Like he's just a fucking like ease, like he's that that middleman. Yeah, like that's all he is. He's just he just saves you a fucking walk so you can stay in your seat and work more. But estamos trabajando con la gente blanco, so for everything they gotta fucking come up to you for. It's like yo. The the fan is blowing a little too much cold air today. All right, I'm gonna I'll, I'll let the building know they'll change the temperature. Yeah, it's just been really weird because it's so it's normally warm over there and it's just so cold right now. I hate now. people that give too much information. No, no, no. But it's weird. like at that point you're just talking to waste to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like I don't. Like I I'm sorry. You but may like, want to conversate. I do not give a fuck about your existence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, those are like the shitty work, work coaches. They just don't want to do their job when they don't have something else to like waste their time on while they fucking... It, they they, they want to fidget. That's their every, way of fidgeting. Every workplace shit. has that person like that, that's lackadaisical, doesn't fucking do anything, but somehow still keeps his job. And it's just like, yo, so I want to be like that guy, but I don't. But I like, don't. <laughs> like, like, I want to be able to fucking not do any of my work and get paid for it like that guy does. But I, he said something interesting earlier. How it was like a lot of 40-year-olds and people that can be used as mules to get yeah. hired for these jobs. But I have a better word. It's like they want to hire slaves, like yeah. type shit. Well, yeah, like people who are willing to slave themselves. Well, that, that goes back to the podcast with Sumo, too, because we went over that, where it's just like they want yes men. Yeah, exactly. It's like oh. they want people that have shit going on and with responsibilities. But isn't it crazy this too, where it's like, damn, so many 40 year olds and 50 year olds don't have jobs or yeah. in, a, in a better position it's like, than kids in tw- like 15 to 20. You know what I mean? This is yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's nonsense to me. My it's first three kids, months, they were always kids like, that are working? younger, like teenagers and in their 20s and shit, they don't want to hire them because they're too ambitious. Like those kids, they don't want to stay at that job for the rest of their yeah. life, obviously. You just you're, you're you're young. You want to do something. Obviously, none of us want to keep working whatever shitty job we're working. That shit's stupid. Too. But like when you're forty, you kind of had no choice. You need a job. They got you got a job just now. Like and you can hold it. It's stable. Like you don't want to lose it. I just don't know like, how when you hire someone young, you don't expect them to not want to work at minimum wage for the rest of their life. Exactly. Like you know that they're not going to be there for the rest of their life. But like you also don't want to just randomly lose a fucking employee just because. Like, oh, they're petty. No, I know, but like that's that's where it comes down to because it's just like a fuck you. We'll hire fucking Rogelia, who has seven kids and she uh, one bedroom apartment, and she and, needs to yeah, feed them. Yeah, and she she don't got nowhere else to go. So that's what it is, and it sucks. But it's just like that's where it's like it's people. Like it's just people. That's how the world works. And if I look at someone, I see and a I, young yeah, person. Yeah, and I'm not trying to say like take those jobs away. When I see an old person with responsibilities, my numbers are going green because I'm making profits because this person has shit that they have to work for to take care of. So they're going to be like, yeah, if I don't fucking do this, I'm not going to be able to get fucking Jimmy Bobber and Billy their fucking sandwiches tomorrow. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> but, like, I'm not trying to say take those jobs away from, like, the 40-year-olds either. Like, obviously, they need no, no, them no. and they can't find them. It's just, like, how are companies going to expect to, like, fucking get workers when they only want to hire people who are who are forced to work and not the people who kind of want to work for money and not have that be the main thing like most of us want to have like a 
we have two things on our free time. People want us to work 40 hours a week and then ask us for overtime. Like, we're already working. If you think about it, we most people sleep eight hours a day, right? Eight Barely. minus 24, mm-hmm. that's 16 hours left yeah. of your day. Then they want you to work eight hours of that. Now you have eight hours. Half of your day is basically taken away yeah. from work. The, uh, and a quarter of it was taken from fucking... The other quarter was taken from sleep. So now you have nine, eight hours, maybe maybe six, because travel. What if you have to work like yeah. 40 minutes away? And then you got to go 40 minutes and 40 minutes back. You spend an hour and a half a, a day just going to work. So you're like, like six hours of free time. Type yeah, shit. And then point, they want you to do fucking work weekends, please. We need yeah. <laughs> Suck my Yo, dick. Yo, give us more of your free time. That you don't, you've made it obvious you don't fucking like us. But, but come like that, on. <laughs> that's why it kind of pisses me off. They tricked everyone in the world into thinking there's 24 hours in a day when there's not. Because it's not, it's not daytime the whole 24 hours, bitch. 12 of those hours is nighttime. <laughs> like, there's 12 hours in a the day. <laughs> they make us work eight of those 12 hours type shit. And then you gotta they, choose where to allocate them. Exactly. Choose where to allocate them and have your three, four, three to six maybe hours of the day of, of sunlight for you, for you, depending on that's the where, work. That's where that's why a lot of those motivations figure it out. started happening. And then go like, work for the rest of your life too. Right? Yeah, and they're like, why do you work 40 hours uh, and kill yourself for a company and then just fucking get home and do jack shit and just fucking sit and watch TVs and movies. And like, and I'm like a huge advocate for, I feel like, I feel like and you should be able, everyone, should, everyone in the world should be able to work part-time and make a living of just part-time hours. Yeah. Like 32 Whoa. hours a week. 32 hours a week should, should be like, exactly how you should have enough yeah. money for you, for everyone to make a living. Part-time should be able to afford you a single mm. household. No. A part-time never. should be able to make you money. think about this. Because people should be able to have free time to actually in- live their fucking lives. That's how I feel. Yeah, but where are you going to live, bro? Like... You want to live a fucking life, but you have seven kids. You're making poor decisions, but and you also want to work. No, that's, that's, not, my that's, point. Just, that's not how it that's works. Down, yeah, but that's, that's my, my that's, point. Well, is, when you say a single family, like, family uh, one lady with seven kids isn't a regular single family. No, but for the most part, especially around yeah, yeah, here, yeah. there's divorced families, yeah. and there are people Obviously, that are paying multiple a, child. Easy than to implement right now, but that's my point. I feel like every job should be able to offer enough money. Like we shouldn't be getting paid seventeen dollars an hour and then have to work forty. Like I'm getting paid seventeen an hour. And I work 40 hours a week and I only get $1,000. Like, if I'm working 40 hours a week and I I only get basically $1,000 out of my check, like, that's barely enough for me to pay rent type shit. So why am I, like, working this much, so much where I can barely have free time and I can barely pay my shit? I feel like you should be able to work that 40 hours and have excess amount of money to, to pay your shit. No one should work 40 hours and still be like, I don't know how I'm gonna pay for my food. Well then, yeah. well then, how like would you? Working that what would much, you implement? Should, like, like, cause this this thing goes. Work, to I feel low. like working that much yeah. shouldn't be the standard though. Like, people work forty hours a week to 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 make a living. I feel like it should be thirty hours a week just to make a living. Like, among everyone should just get paid more. Like, there why is there not not enough money to go around? Because companies are stingy. They don't want to pay more. They find their ways to cut corners to not pay everybody as much as they need to. They put money the into different things like. We oh, got, like instead of instead of, <laughs> instead of just giving your company your workers some more money, they're gonna spend a hundred grand on a fucking yacht trip to boost morale. Like, I think why not just give them a fucking raise or or like a bonus and that's it's it. Not, it's not because it's not cost exactly. They don't they like why not just waste that hundred thousand dollars on giving every one of your workers a bonus for the year? No, nah, let's waste a hundred thousand dollars on giving them a little Christmas present and a party and a yacht thing for boosting morale. Like. That's why I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like it could be done, because, but it's not because it's all being looked at looked at in different ways. Like we're all wasting our time on yeah. this fucking, we're all our money on this shit. Like, yeah, or like we're companies like are working, working for like the like profit, fucking millions and billions to exactly. die. Exactly. Like somebody else. Why? Like you're making it all for your fucking future great 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 grandsons. Who's not Let's expand on that. How do you guys feel about generational wealth? Like wealth that's passed down. Yeah. Um, Silver spoon boys take a little bit away each year. You think so? I feel like... Or every couple of years. It's like, I feel like if, if you're rich, like, this is how I would do it. If I was a billionaire, and I'm by, like, in my will, I would write it to never give any of my children money until they can make a million themselves. Type shit. Like, I want you to be able to make it yourself. Is- exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's just trap. Like, locked in a trust fund type shit. Like, you're not able to get my money until I can, until the world knows that you were able to we'll make, make your own money. shit. <laughs> No, they have to each individually be able to make their own money, run their own business type shit. Like, 
if I make if I went out of my way to create like an empire, I don't want my great 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 grandson to just be boring and be able to like live life like for not realizing that there's like like my fucking mom will live through poverty like yeah. But you are gonna live through like the happiest days of your life and not really not be like grateful for that because yeah. you just live that way. Like feel like you should everyone should be able to like grow up knowing how the world is and how some people aren't living. As that's why I do or as you I look you appreciate the knowledge like your shit. class and not like because I wonder how bad like in medieval times like nobility and all that shit was like was that's just, why there was, was always like, like long. historically just, historically there's you, always you like the police about it and also like historically like the king <laughs> The, you king son, <laughs> the, king, the king's son would always end up being like a fucking dominion like a really good king is like the better like the people love the king and then his, his son ends up being like the evil dick who takes over later yeah it's like that's that happens so often in history why because the son grows up snobby like a piece of shit yeah. and it's like that's why I, I feel like everyone should like if i'm a if i'm a be rich my children aren't getting shit until they know how to get their own shit well, look at george bush he's the same way his father was in office for a long time, and then he was in office, and then he fucked everything up. Do you wow. want to die? Right? Huh? Do you want to die? It's not okay. <laughs> Go ahead. We're fine. No, you don't have. You don't have the. Nice. I think. Kill people. I Everyone think for talks sure. about all the illegal shit they did, and he's not in jail. He's not yeah. getting. Killed. He's not getting arrested. I think for sure. We I think he started the whole Iraq war for money, <laughs> like for his family's for companies gas. and shit for gas, for gas. Or oil. Shit. Right. Yeah. Oil with his family, they they had like some family business tied something. I don't know. It's a huge conspiracy, and that's the thing. It's it's labeled a conspiracy, and when the moment something's labeled a conspiracy, it's all of a sudden thrown into this fucking bin of like, oh, you can't. It's like UFOs, like aliens, like ah, what the fuck? That's that crazy shit that Tim yeah, Four had that radioactive shit. About. Like that, yeah. Like Tim Four had dumbasses just be be or, or fucking talk about that stuff. But it's like conspiracy is a thing where people. Like, people conspire all the time. That's human nature. <laughs> you don't think... Like, people conspire against you all the time in your workplace. They don't want you to work here, so they make your life miserable to try to get you to fucking yeah. quit. Like, that's conspiring. That's a conspiracy. Like, <laughs> look at the definition of conspiracy. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> conspiracies happen all the time, and people just choose to ignore them and throw that throw it off into a fucking bucket. I guess how that word is... Like, conspiracy that word is radical. I guess, mm. like, because I, I feel like that's how I used to look at it a lot. Like, this conspiracy could be either or. It's not having to prove... Well, conspiracy, it is, it's a theory, yeah. yeah. So it's like, it, you can't confirm something until it's... Confirmed. Fact. Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah. But it's not, like, look up the definition of conspiracy, someone, please. We need a Jamie on this podcast. It's conspired. Well, you go down there. But when you conspire against somebody, yeah, that's you teaming up it's against like someone to bring somebody down. Them, you're but no, but, but yeah, we're, we're talking, talking about, about conspiracy theory. theory. We're about people perceive that. Yeah, if exactly. That's theory. my problem. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> but when you hear conspiracy theory, look at the theory, fucking word. <laughs> but that's where theory, that's where you'll never that's win. That's the that's the difference. I'm like separate the conspiracy theory and conspiracies, like. That's why but the difference between conspiracy theory and conspiracies without like an actual conspire like someone conspiring against <laughs> like the CIA conspires to fucking fuck up other countries all the time and yeah. we have factual evidence like they release it every now and then like here, <laughs> Yo, some black line you don't see that but like you could read the other parts and you'll see that like the Cuban Missile Crisis they conspired to fucking fake Cubans like launching missiles or some shit so we can start a whole war against Russia or some shit like. That's a conspiracy, <laughs> but no, because the way the word conspiracy is looked at, all of a sudden it's like that's people why just it'll never, put it'll it in never the change because you got to change a lot of people's perception. You got to get on a broadcast. And that's get, that's the problem the though. Word. Nowadays you can't change people's perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the definition of point to Google. Right? A secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. Not eleven was a conspiracy. That was just mm. a conspiracy. I'm a type conspiracy. But it yeah. was. Theory. It's a conspiracy. Because they conspired against the United States and started that attack. That was a, right. that attack was conspiracy a conspiracy. They conspired against America. Kind of overt, but like, influential organization is responsible you, think, for you think conspiracy, now you think theory because conspiracy theory was tied to it. Like that, that whole thing. Unless it's called a conspiracy theory, yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. But you I think, think a, like, that's a conspiracy, but then, but then what happened in the war, all the stuff behind it because nothing of that is released yet that's a conspiracy but like theory. i think my problem is that people forget those are two words it's a it's a compound word <laughs> like conspiracy yeah. theory is a compound word just two separate words that have two separate meanings like a theory is a theory a conspiracy is a conspiracy conspiracy theory is one thing as well like 
they're all it's all but like people don't that's my problem that's our we were just talking about that people don't know english they can barely read <laughs> like you see our high schools it's a bunch of retards. The government is after me because I know all this. <laughs> it's my area. That's, that's Johan every day in his house. The conspiracy for uh, water, water. They're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> do you guys want to do one last one? Alex Jones, bro. Sure, yeah. I don't like that yeah. last one. You, then if you like yeah. it, you can No, I don't it. like it. No, you, you like love it. it. Uh, it's extremely annoying that many restaurant menus use a QR code instead of paper menus. I don't bring my smartphone everywhere I go, and my parents don't even own a smartphone. So it's often the case that none of us will have a, f- a smartphone when we go to a restaurant. By requiring a smartphone, it is also unfair to people who may not be able to afford a smartphone. It should never be assumed that everyone has a TV or a car, let alone a device that just became widespread 10 years ago. Now, here's where I have the problem. I don't agree. I don't agree either. You want know why? Because, like, or technology is the way we're going. We're becoming cyborgs. Exactly. It's like, the way the future is yeah. going. Exactly. I don't... You can't... You're, 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 We've lost this war forty years ago. And I like how I like in how they the gave the, uh, a <laughs> device that they make it seem like the device was only made widespread like ten years. Like if it was yesterday, yeah. if it was like no, it was ten years ago. That was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Ten years is a long time. You tell me you couldn't get well, a ten years ago was when it turned into the little supercomputers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Our, our grandparents been working on it since like the seventies, sixties, actually, like way before then. So it's like it's been in in a long time wait, making. So yeah. it's like. Our it's grandparents, like, our grand, well, like, I don't, well, yeah, my grandma in Mexico has a fucking smartphone, might not be the best shit in the world, but it can read a QR code. <laughs> so it's like stupid bullshit, like, oh, you shouldn't assume I have my smartphone all the time. Why don't you have your smartphone on you all That's the time? just him not trying to integrate yeah. like, with society. Like, yeah. It's, it's and, I, and I understand because it's like society is integrating, like moving hella fast. So you kind of have to constantly assimilate, but it's like. That's how the way the world works. The only thing like, I would can't... say, because I love to play devil's argue, uh, advocate, but I just think you can't do it. No, I'm fucking. Yeah. It's kind of. Like... I just think that you should have a physical menu. Yeah. yeah. Why can't you though? No, I'm not saying there's there's no need for the physical menu. What I'm saying is that like, if they have the QR code for your convenience, because that's what it is. It's yeah, a convenience. Yeah, it's really convenience. But I think, Why are you wait, so he's complaining about actually, QR codes at restaurants? Yeah. 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 For the menu. I think, I think this but there's a second though, menu. Like, you could just... What, like, what he's complaining about is a lot of restaurants are not integrating where specifically only. Well, think about this. QR what, code. what did we have Why a couple years ago? A pandemic, right? Mm-hmm. What couldn't we do? We couldn't touch things. You couldn't yeah. go inside without masks. Exactly. I don't know. People don't seem to realize when you give up a freedom, they start to take more. It's not even a freedom. Oh, no, but you give away yeah, yeah. one tiny thing, they start inching, more like a and inching, and inching and inching until they can take more. And once the government takes a freedom or something or a private company, because they have the right, it's a private company, they can say mm. no shoes, no shirt, no service. Like mm. that's where that shit comes from, right? Right? It's their company. They want you to come in and only buy with the order with the app, and that's your fault for not coming in with your fucking phone, dumbass. And that was like, <laughs> an argument too. Why are you going? Like, is it like, at what point did exactly. they change it? Okay, that sucks. Yeah. And if yeah. you know that they're integrating it like this, like, why don't you ask, hey, do you have physical menus? Yeah. And if you don't, I'll get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> but take your fucking phone. You're a dumbass. Let's end it right there. That sounds, that sounds like a good note to end it on. You're a dumbass if you're not taking your phone to the fucking restaurant. Noches de Colombia, a fucking Hudson County whatever restaurant, has the QR menus now. All these Hispanics that don't know how to read English. But now, it's, well, like, it's this thing I'm that generalizing. I have too. It's this thing that I have too with like, like people don't seem to realize the phone shit is what's going to happen too with like uh, Elon's Neuralink shit. No. Once one person gets that Neuralink and can Everyone fucking download would... the Matrix into their head mm-hmm. and they can learn Kung Fu. Or like read faster than you, or I know come for read or, or like, faster than you. <laughs> like bro, everyone's gonna need that shit. I and know then the of course, like, today. What, <laughs> people are gonna be like, yo, bro, I don't have a neural link, and people are gonna. Then there's gonna be jobs that are gonna You're be. Like, they're gonna fucking you need hire a neural people. Link, yeah. They're gonna hire people based on whether or not they have neural links or not. Like there's a bunch. Be, let's say I, there, let's say there's two hundred applications, resumes, and. Out of like the three two hundred, you're one. You're one of like the thirty people who don't have a neural link. Yo, but then you thirty people aren't getting hired because the neural link people can fucking upload shit to the computer well, faster you than you because they don't need a USB. Neuralink. They have the neural link. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good devil's advocate. But then, like, imagine this. Imagine this. The neural link is required for you to get a job, right? Oh. But if if let's say the neural link is how he's saying, it's going to be required for you to get a job, but it's going to turn to the point where it. 
then it's essentially like you basically you basically need it. Know, like for basic living. Yeah, because yeah. everyone's you're gonna be it's gonna you're gonna be outcasted if you don't have it. But think about this, like how you were saying you can download shit into your head and it's you like, automatically know it. Could you imagine if like I download a county in my head and I'm like, oh, but that's why everything's gonna be the shit when yeah. the download comes out. But it's kind of like the iPhone with the fucking blue message, like. You know, everyone, t- they made people want to get an iPhone. You know, people with uh, with Androids that, that are in group chats, you see you constantly send a green message, you get made fun of type shit. Like, they, <laughs> they, 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 they made it a culture to make fun of your homie for not having the same phone you have. So now you all have to get an iPhone. So you don't get made fun of in the group chat. Like, Instead of putting like, <laughs> problems. <laughs> so it's like, and you know how it originally started? I mess if you sent an iMessage, that was because it was not wasting your minutes. It was they started that shit when you had to pay for text messages. And then immediately after they cut it off where you don't have to pay for shit anymore, right? Everyone has unlimited. Yeah, but they, they could have changed it back to having like a different color to have to leaving it to guard uh, like everyone has blue. But then they realized that there became this hierarchy where it's like, oh mm, so they started I have marketing green, it. I have, exactly. So they marketed it. Yeah. And you now it's a, a whole green thing. Message? You have a green text <laughs> message. That means you're not on the iMessage thing. You're an Android choosing. You are less than exactly. even though, I spit on you. Even though it's the same shit, they like, they're right. do the same thing. So the world will never be fixed as long as people are on it. Uh thank you for coming onto the podcast, Johan. It was a nice having you. Uh Thank you. We'll probably have you on again. Another Can we day. say some final words, each of us? Of course. On, on how crazy this... Yeah. To be honest, yo, for whoever's watching the 60 people that we get, like, regularly, bro, <laughs> to, to all you, it don't matter. None of this shit really does matter. Just work on yourself and fuck everything else. That's why these opinions are so unpopular, because they don't fucking matter. Right? Johan doesn't matter. I don't, don't matter. matter. He don't matter. matter. He don't matter. This guy don't matter. Only you matter. So it stop matters. fucking listening to everybody else Nothing and stop matters. worrying about your fucking green message and your this and that. Go fuck yourself and do your shit. Peace out.